Hello, this is our hand crank sorting device prepared by David Huang, Eduardo Mateo, and James Nguyen. The motivation for our device, although small scale, is to grab a book and return it to the machine user. Our prototype is hand pushed, but eventual iterations include motor action and an XYZ movement on the grabbing arm. As the design is still in the prototype stages, it proves sufficiency for the requirements of this course, but allows us to employ further developments with the aim of it being more lightweight and maneuverable. Our book sorting device mechanism is split into three main components the linear motion, the scotch yoke, and the gripper arm. The linear motion shown is based on the Chebyshev 4-bar linkage mechanism. The Chebyshev mechanism has linear motion in the center of its coupler that only allows rotation in the pin joint while the rocker moves from 90 to 40 to 45 degrees in the cross region. Through the use of position, velocity, and acceleration analysis, the force analysis was done to determine the highest stress point for this part of the project being the pushing arm which experiences linear forces through kinetic friction. The factor of safety for this region in the mechanism is around 5.2, which means we're well below the failing criteria. This portion of the mechanism is the modified scotch yoke. It's used as a primary driving force for the gripper mechanism. It's connected to the Chebyshev link, as well as the gripper mechanism to grab the books. Uh, due to ignoring the friction forces, of the pins, the yoke took a little extra force to overcome the friction, but with our force analysis, the yoke held up and didn't fail at the critical points. Placing the final position of the pin of the wheel that drives the yoke at a 90 degree angle would give us the greatest force applied to the group mechanism. So for this portion of the mechanism is our gripper. Um, this comprises of two four bar mechanisms that are mirror images of each other. From you can see from the video, the position of the mechanism at rest and when it closes upon the book. The Scott joke, as James talked about earlier, will be the primary driving force of the mechanism. It will exert a force on link 2 that will in turn drive link 3 and 4 to close upon the book. Once the grip grabs a hold of the book, it will stop the mechanism. This serves as a physical limiter to prevent the link from moving too far. During our analyses, we examined where the book and grip connects and determined that this was our critical point for this portion of the mechanism. From our force analysis, we determined that roughly 32.228 pound force will be exerted at that force. And when we do our, ca our stress calculation, we get roughly 1.8 times 10 to the 6 pound per square feet. 